Hello and welcome back to Ra Ra's Adventures. Thank you for joining. If you'd like to help support the channel, please hit that subscribe button as that will really help support what we are doing. Today we are interviewing Sheila. Hello and welcome to Ra Ra's Adventures. Hello, thank you very much. Thank you for agreeing to do an interview with us. You're welcome. So at any point, if there's any questions that you don't feel comfortable in answering, just say pass and we'll just move. Okay. Okay? Yep. Okay, so there are 12 questions that we're going through. Mm -hmm. So start. So what condition or conditions do you have? I have arthritis. Yeah. which is they call traumatic arthritis, okay. which was from a major car crash that I had in 1988 and I suffered blood clot on the brain wow. and three strokes yeah. and a very badly mangled leg, which has wow. now left me having to wear a caliper. 24-7? 24-7. Yeah. I don't go to bed in it. I take it off when I get into okay. bed and then it goes back on before I get up. Yeah. Um, and that supports me and enables me to be upright. Wow. Yeah. Quite a lot. Yeah. 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 Any but other conditions or not that that's not enough? No. <laughs> well I did break my back last year. Wow. So okay. um and that's still still giving me jit, but they okay. said it would take a year. Right. And it hasn't been, it's only been seven months. Right. So well I've still got early. on in October, so Okay, so, so yeah. early, isn't it? Yeah. So when kind of answer this question, but we're still going to read it out. So when was your condition first diagnosed? That's well, yeah, 1988 when I had the car crash. That's when it all started. Yeah. Because yeah. I was put in an induced coma. Oh wow. Um, for a month or two because of um, the whiplash. Yeah. My poor brain had been mangled. And my ear was hanging off. And I, oh my goodness. Blood. Uh, uh, glass had gone under my eyelid and slit all inside. Ooh, um, another shard had gone through the muscle here. Blimey. So yeah, the car the car was just like yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um how does your condition affect you mentally and physically? Physically, um obviously not being able to walk properly or walk mm. far. Yeah. Um, my right side is slower than my left in a lot of things, so coordination's okay. Yeah. But for speed, mm. one is slower. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that affects me lifting. Mm. Can't lift hot things out the oven. No. So many things I can't do. Yeah. Anything you do with two hands, it's I not can't. It doesn't work. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. And how's that affected you mentally? To start with, um, I just hated the world. I hated yeah. everybody and every man and every dog. And I was just angry for years and years. Yeah. You say man and dog, is that what caused the accident? Well, a man, yeah. Okay. Not a dog. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was a young man driving yeah. foolishly, trying to overtake five cars on a bend. What? And he was on the wrong side of the road. He come oh, round the bend on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Headlights. That's all I saw, and then bang, that was it. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And as usual, the innocent one. Yeah. I get all the injuries. He got yeah. he got three stitches in his ankle, and all he had to so, pay was um, a hundred and fifty pound court cost and uh, ten. No, a hundred and fifty pound fine and ten pound court cost because he pleaded guilty by letter. In them oh, days, that was in yeah. 1988. Yeah. That was that was it. So That's that was it. his bit over. You know, he grew into my life. Oh my god! And um, I don't think I'll ever forgive him for it. No, no, it's right. a wrong no. thing to do. I know. Yeah. But, you know. I Understandable. Go. Yeah. yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, it did affect you mentally, definitely. I think anything that big does for oh, a long time. Absolutely. You know, I'm not so angry now, it's been so long. No, but, but it still niggles. Yeah, 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 so often. And nighttime driving, I'm like, I'm not good at nighttime driving, still oh. after all these years. Was it hard to get back in a car after yeah. the accident? Well, it took me a long time to get over there. It took me seven years anyway to recover right. from it all. Wow. Um, really near enough because I was still having physio five years down the line. Yeah. Still being operated on six years down the line. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, again, you, you just yeah, you just try and get over it. Well, you yeah. don't. You you adapt. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, yeah, you do. You have to get used to another life. Yeah, that's what it was for me. Yeah, because it was such a change. It was yeah. such a change from owning my own home, playing squash, jogging, driving, perfect job. Yeah, and he just banged that everything out. It wasn't yeah. just the, the injuries. No. It was the whole life, everything my life. lifestyle. Yeah, you know, I lost my house because I couldn't pay the mortgage. Oh, no, no. Had no job. I never went back to work. No. And at 38, you heartbreaking. It's, you know, it's a bit young to have to accept one. I've never been able to run with my kids again because yeah. my youngest was only 12. Oh, yeah. And that's you know, it was hard for him as well. Yeah. Very difficult for him. For the whole family. Mm. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If it hadn't been for my mum and dad, I just had to move back home for a while because I right. couldn't live on my own. I couldn't do anything. No, no. So I oh. had to get this arm working, you see. So that took a few years to get yeah. it back. Building it back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, how did it or did it affect your relationships? Oh, my relationship ended probably oh, okay. at, at that point because. He couldn't deal with me, and I couldn't deal with him. Right. It, it, just, it was a two-way thing. I just, yeah, I, I just didn't want it. No. That's you know what I mean. It's just like again, yeah. just you go and live your life because you can't live mine now. Yeah. I've got to learn to live mine, so I don't expect it's you to learn to again. live mine. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Um, so what support have you found? Have you found any support that helps you? Um, oh yeah, because they, yeah, the, the doctors decided to send me to a centre, a disabled centre. Okay. Because they said I needed to accept right. that I had a disability, yeah. that I was disabled. So like I didn't know. No. And I said, well, I don't see why I need to go there. I know, you know. I'm disabled, thank you. <laughs> but I, I, I went. Yeah. I was actually quite glad I went because there was a lot of people there um, that were pathetic, right. to say the least. Yeah. And there's a lot of people there that were a lot worse off than me. Right. And so you, you get a balance of things. You look at things a bit differently, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. And you think, well, yeah. I'm certainly not going to be you. No, you know, I will be more like you. I'm gonna be more like this one. Yeah, yeah. and you do. You, you learn, yeah. and I did learn. I learned a lot, and then I became a volunteer there. Oh wow, so, amazing! So in the end, that all worked out yeah. well. Even I didn't want to go. No, I, I just felt like I was being labelled. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It's somebody yeah. saying to me, "You are now this." Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not me anymore. I'm this. Yeah, this label. And I think not, that's what I don't like. Yeah, you are still your own person. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. What are your managing tips for other people like yourself? Take each day as it comes and yep. don't hurry because tomorrow's another day. Because what yeah. you can't do today, it doesn't mean you can't do it the next day. Exactly. Yeah. yeah that, that's what I learned was that just because this hand didn't work one day, the next try. day it might do a little bit more. Yeah. It might take a lot longer than I anticipated, but don't rush. Yeah. Because you'll get there, but you've yeah. got to stay strong and you've got to stay positive. Yeah, I'm not setting you off goals too high, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you set them too high, you, you get de you get despondent, so it's yeah. three steps forward and four Front back. back. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got to be realistic, but you've just got to stay positive. Yeah. And you've got to have lots of family and friends to support you. Yeah. Because without them, I don't think I'd have coped. No, no, support network is major, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Do's and don'ts for people who don't know or understand your condition. Quite a difficult one. So, for example, I drive a mobility scooter and people give me loads of abuse because physically it doesn't look like oh, anything's wrong with me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if there's an answer to that. I mean, people yeah. say to me, oh, well, you don't look like you've got something wrong with yeah. you. You look quite well. Yeah. 
I said, but I have a disability. The disability doesn't make me look ill. No. That's the difference. That's what it's they... It's judgmental. Isn't yeah. It? They yeah. expect you to look ill. Yeah. Absolutely. But looking ill is if you've got tonsillitis or measles or having yeah. a disability is not an illness. No. Not really. Not no. like that. And that's what the difference is, I think. Yeah. And that's what people can't comprehend. No. Totally agree. Okay, so what would help you manage your condition better? I don't I don't think I could manage it any better than I'm managing it, to be quite no. honest. I think you do reach a peak where you know that what you're doing is, is working. Yeah. How I'm dealing with it is working for me. You find your level. Yeah, like whether it'll work for somebody else at that level, yeah. do you know what I mean? Everyone's different. Yeah, so you must yeah. find your level. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What definitely. you can cope with and what you can't cope with. Yeah. And I find my brick wall. I'm like, yeah. yeah that's yeah. enough then today. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. And I think we've all got that. Yes. Yeah. And we just have to find it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um. What would you like to see happen in the coming years to support and help people with conditions like yourself? What would make well, I think they'd be nice to have drop-in centres in every town. Yeah, I agree with one. that. Yeah. Just in the term of a coffee shop, not as in a... Meeting, meeting. Yeah, Cause... this is a meeting house for the disabled only. Yeah, More Not that, open. not that. Yeah, you not know? labelled. Not labelled, yeah. no. Just yeah. an open shop for chat. Yeah. Yeah, I think something like that in every town. Mm. So that someone could go there and there's people there that are going to listen for one. Yeah. And take note. Yeah. And not judge you. Yeah, and not judge you yeah. for that. But actually and then hopefully all of those people that have had input in there for their different reasons, maybe something good could come out of it. Yeah. Even if it's just made that one person feel better. Yeah. And maybe in the groups maybe sharing different yeah. ideas helping like something that may help you may help another. Yeah, exactly. Sharing yeah. ideas. But I think something like a drop-in cafe would be brilliant. Yeah, a hundred. I totally agree. Not really funny, that. but they do it for the people that are hooked on drugs. Yeah. Which to me is self-inflicted. Yeah. They have a choice. Yeah. We don't. No. Yeah. And I get a little bit cross with that sometimes yeah. because they get all that support and it's mm, still yeah, their choice, and yet yeah. we don't get it, and it's not our. Not yeah. our choice. I didn't choose to be like this. No, no. You know, so. Absolutely. Okay. Um, what does your condition or conditions make you feel about yourself? So how does it make you feel? Yeah, I still sometimes get angry when I see other people doing things that I want to do and can't. Yeah. Frustration. Very yeah. frustrated. Yeah. Very frustrated. It's like we went to Egypt with. Ped and I went to Egypt two years ago with my son, my daughter-in-law, my grandchildren. Yeah. I wanted to go snorkeling. Right. But I couldn't. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, and I wanted to swim where the dolphins were. And two kind gentlemen, I took my brace off. They lifted me off the boat. Oh. And I had my snorkel on. Yeah. And, um... They held on to me so that you had to get off the butt dinghy while it was moving. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that you were with the dolphins yeah. at the same time. And they held me and said, like, we're ready, we're jumping. <laughs> we're jumping. Oh, wow. They okay, just pulled me. Yeah. But you see, my leg floats when I haven't got my brace on. Oh, wow. It's so okay. floppy. Yeah. It's, it's, it just comes to the surface. Natural. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's really hard to do anything like that because I yeah. can't stay down. Yeah, And they were brilliant, and that's yeah. frustrating. Yeah. yeah, so it's things like that. But I did manage to stay in the water a little while, and I did manage but to But that's have an the achievement dolphins. in itself, isn't yeah. it? Thinking that you might not but be But again, I had to have somebody. I to had to have. Be able to if do. they wouldn't have done that, they could have chosen, no, sorry, we're not insured. Yeah. We can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd be moved. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like I like swimming in the sea, but I can't swim in the sea unless somebody carries me out to mm. my depth. Because yeah. I can't walk water. No. I can't no. pull that leg. It won't physically it won't pull no. through water. It just 
hunt back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, this, but that's personal to mine. Oh uh, yeah. Isn't it? You yes. Know. But I don't think you're alone in that. No, I'm sure I'm not. I I'm sure know. there's other people yeah. that have got things far worse. Mine's yeah. just one leg. But it doesn't matter. I always think it doesn't matter about anyone else. No. At that time and moment, it's about you. Yeah. What you're struggling with. Yeah. That was a dog just running in, just to let you know. So excited. And another one. Um, one more question. Last question. Yeah. Is there any other experiences that you'd like to share with others that may help others or just that you found and you found it really frustrating? And don't get frustrated with your sex life. Right, yeah. Because that's a topic people... <gasps> I know, yeah. and it's one that should be spoken about. It should be, because yeah. I will tell a funny story. In bed one night, yeah. doing the usual, what one would yeah. do with the husband. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't have to lift up. No, no. I don't know. You take it off, yeah. My leg fell off. Okay, it's going to be a comical story. <laughs> My leg fell off the bed, and I rolled off the Oh, bless you. <laughs> and all we could do. I mean, it's a good job here, a good sense of humour. Oh, we, yes. We laid there for about half an hour absolutely crying. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. I love that. So you see, yeah. yeah. So. It affects life in all areas. And it does affect, areas. it affects that part of it as well. Of course because it does. Yeah. You don't always want to because you're in pain. Yeah. So therefore you can't be yeah. bobbing up and down, you know? You yeah. can't be doing all this. Right. Right. And then it's no fun laying there like a cold fish, is it? No, no. Do you know what I mean? But right. it, yeah, so it affects that side of it as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for doing an interview with us. You're welcome. Very kind of you. Sure. And hopefully this will help spread awareness of more disabilities yes. that aren't visual, that yes. are invisible. Yeah, it is which invisible. Which is what ones. we're hoping to spread awareness about. So thank you for joining us today and thank you Sheila for joining us today. That's all right, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to help support Rara's Ventures, please subscribe. That really helps support what we're doing. And if you would like to do an interview with me, please contact me either in the description or give me an email, the links are down below. Thank you for joining today and we'll see you soon. Lots of love and take care. Bye. Bye.